Hey there ladies, how are we doing? This is Angus Fairbairn of Boss Fitness and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over a really exciting interview that I had with one of my physique coaching clients called Serena and her case was absolutely amazing in the fact that um, you know, she's from, from Perth in Western Australia and then went to go and live in Spain. Um, and uh, in terms of her history, which you're going to be learning about in this video, she was actually going through a lot of stuff which you're likely struggling with yourself in terms of um, going through the same sort of binge and restrict type sabotaging cycle where you, you know, are making all this effort, you're putting in all this hustle, and your goal is just to basically see the fruits from your labor so that you can have a tight and toned body, which you actually have self love with, but you're just not seeing it. Um, it's causing you to feel discouraged, it's causing you to think, you know, what's the point? Will I actually ever be able to achieve this? And you, your, your self love levels begin to sort of drop as the journey goes along. So Serena has been an absolute pleasure to work with. She's absolutely killed it. So I really encourage you to pay close attention towards A, her struggles and just how her backstory was, which you're gonna learn about. Pay attention towards the knowledge bonds, which I'm gonna be dropping and what Serena is gonna be sharing in terms of what's changed for her now in terms of where she was and where she is now and this new lifestyle that she's built. And um, otherwise, enjoy what it is that you're gonna be learning in this interview that I had with Serena. Um, um, take notes and uh, you know just really enjoy this awesome new lifestyle that she's built through what it is that I coach in. Enjoy. Serena, how you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> awesome, thank you. Good to have you with us. So for those of you listening, what I want to do today is just share some insight into the awesome transformation that Serena has had with um, working with me via my online coaching. So as you can imagine, with something like that, there's a bit of distance between us, but hey, she was still able to utilize internet and you know, my knowledge and stuff like that to create you know, some awesome physical and internal change that's gonna uh, you know, last a lifetime for herself. So to give you a bit of background context as to where Serena came from, so like many of you ladies probably listening, you could probably relate to this, but Serena was someone who was taking you know, a lot of action, um, but then struggled with the big thing, which is called consistency. Um, meaning your ability to take action continuously towards one thing and enjoy it and therefore see it through. So Serena was suffering with lots of ups and downs of what she was doing, but then as you can probably imagine, that caused her a bit of disempowerment, not feeling too crash hot with what was going on and therefore gradually sabotaging her efforts and not really seeing any sort of success over you know, the period of time that she was going at it solo. So, you know, before we started, those were obviously big problems, you know, to her. But Serena, why don't you share, I guess, some of the impact that, that was having to yourself personally, making all this action, but not actually getting, you know, real sort of tangible results from all the efforts. Um, well, I guess it was very discouraging um, and um, awful in everyday life because, you know, even if everything else is going for you, if you can't achieve in that area and you just don't know what to do. And I guess that's the main point is if you don't see results, you don't know if you're doing the right thing, so it's very difficult to stick to consistent action. Whereas if you have a plan that you know that works, it's much easier to stick to it. Exactly, bingo. So like <laughs> like me, just like yourself, you're a foodie as well. So you love food, but then the things that you were doing obviously came down to you know eat this, this, and this, but don't eat all of this to get results. So why don't you share how that was a bit of a, a struggle for you, especially with trying to establish real balance within food for yourself before we actually started coaching. Yeah, well, it was very difficult because um, when I was in Australia as well, I obviously developed a um, gluten sensitivity, so I had to stop eating um, any glutinous foods, yeah. and that made it difficult. It also makes it difficult, you know, socially. It's getting much easier now because there are much more gluten-free products out there, and then I had trouble with preservatives and um, IBS, and um, mm. my hormones weren't quite right, and I guess from that stem then my insecurity of eating anything because yeah. I didn't really know what's going to be good anymore at all and I didn't want to feel shit all the time, I didn't want to be putting on weight all the time and have no energy and I think the biggest impact it also has, I mean when you're at home you can kind of eat whatever whatever you want, you only buy the things that you really want to eat and then you can stick to it um, and I like to think I'm a fairly disciplined person but um, when you go out, that's when it gets hard as well because you always feel like you're an outsider. You don't understand why everyone else can you know, have a good time and eat whatever and they're okay yeah. and you're not. And I think that, that was probably the, the hardest part emotionally. 
Mm, exactly, that's right. And um, you know, it's a funny thing within that because it's nutrition which is the big guns for anyone's goals, whether it is to lose weight, whether it's just to solely lose um, you know, fat, whether it's to gain muscle, whatever, it's nutrition which is pretty much everything. So you can be making all the exercise effort underneath the sun. But then in your case, and like in my case, I know that when I was struggling big time with nutrition, I would often punish myself with exercise kind of beating myself up for the binges that I was having. So it wasn't a really good cycle at all. But if we fast forward to where you are now, like in terms of some of your stats, you're down a solid six kilos and you've lost over 30 centimeters from all over your body. But in no way, like in terms of like where you're at, like you were pretty much what we call a decent type body, but now you know, you're absolutely amazing. Um, but in terms of just what's been restored, what has been absolutely amazing to see is your relationship with nutrition. So why don't you just share what some of the big things have been I guess for you in terms of what's changed compared to you know where you were then with how you are now with your relationship with food. Yeah, I mean that's that's probably the biggest win. I mean, yeah, it's great to, you know, lose some weight and get some mm. fitness gains and all that. But um that was probably my biggest win is that I, you know, I can eat whatever I want and that's that's really great because I don't think on Saturday when I don't want to go out because it's going to be so much effort trying to not eat all these things and trying to explain to everyone why I'm not eating those things. And, mm. you know, it's, it's so much easier now. You just you go out and you have something or you don't. And if you don't have it, you really choose not to have it and you feel good about it. Mm. Um, or if you have less or you just try a little, you know, maybe the husband orders a dessert and you have a spoonful and it's all good. Yeah, exactly. um, So, yeah, that's I think that's really the biggest win. And even... Um, uh, I've actually found it's it's cheaper to eat this way because you know you can save on groceries here and there. Exactly, and, um, you're much more flexible. You know, you come home, you make an easy <laughs> meal instead of having to worry all the time, or even at work. You know, mm. if you don't have time to have lunch, you have a sandwich, and it's okay. Exactly, so it's, that's it. Yeah, it just takes a lot of the stress out of the day, especially if you're working a lot as well. Then it it, it just makes it so much easier. Mm. Yeah. Because typically with most of us, we tend to focus on what's going in and the timing of when we're eating those meals. So typically eating after 6 or after 8 o'clock was deemed as bad and you might have been able to relate to that as well. Um, you know, eating sugar or eating fast food and stuff or any sort of junk food you classify as bad. But um, really now it seems that you've really adapted the focus of not stressing out about what's going in but really just emphasizing how much you're putting in and then taking ownership upon what you actually want to eat to meet that. So why don't you just quickly share how that's allowed you to just be consistent without it actually feeling like a chore, but actually something that you enjoy eating on a day-to-day -day basis like that. Um, well, I guess I've found um, that I really feel much more satisfied and I, I think I obsess about it a lot less because mm -hmm. um, it's just not something that worries me anymore. I just, I, I have what I want. I make sure that I stick to my macros and some days I don't, but you know, exactly. it, it doesn't really matter in the scheme of things and so I guess then you, you obsess less and then you, you don't have to have you know more chocolate or more I don't know whatever the weakness is for me mm. I am in Switzerland yeah exactly <laughs> that's it <laughs> awesome so um, for those of you listening really some of the big key things there is that if you relate to some of the things that Serena has said or even what I've shared with a little bit of insight into what I used to struggle with some of the big things you should take action upon are within nutrition is actually making that shift from what's going in towards how much because your body needs a certain amount of fuel to trigger the results that you want. If you can consistently meet that, you will see some awesome change. Another thing to really make sure that you'll need as well is focus because if you're trying to focus on a million different things, it makes it really stressful, doesn't it, Serena? So like by us actually keeping your focus really simple, it enabled you to be consistent like with ease. Then the other side of it that you'll need as well in terms of taking action with nutrition is really having what's called variety because if you don't have variety, you can get bored when we get bored, this is when we bail, where we fall off the wagon, where we beat ourselves up, and it causes us to, to really develop a negative relationship with food. Um, but with those things in mind, this is obviously what's changed, you know, Serena from the inside out. It was actually what allowed me to lose my 40, 40 plus kgs years back when I was starting out my journey. So if you're actually interested, you know, in terms of actually having some one-to-one -one help with, um, you know, learning that yourself and actually being coached like Serena has been, you know, get in touch. But um, Serena, from yourself, just the last couple of words, why don't you just share, I guess, a word of knowledge or a word of encouragement for anyone listening from yourself being someone that's just finished up your coaching with me? <laughs> I guess um, thinking back to before I started with you, something I would say it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. 
Um, it's an absolute life changer because when you when you think you've researched it all and you and you really do know it all and there's no more you can learn and it's just basically a hopeless situation, um, there is hope. Mm. Awesome, how good was that? Really, really hope you enjoyed the interview that I had with Serena and really hope you're feeling inspired by just what is possible when you have the how. So many of you, and just like Serena, you had the uh, the why. In other words, you know exactly why it's so important that you achieve X, Y, and Z. So tight and toned body, awesome lifestyle, good relationship with food, whatever it may be. Uh, you've got the what in terms of exactly where it is that you want to go and why it's so important, but then you're lacking the how. So what often happens is that when you're lacking the how, you struggle with you know sort of piecing it all together, and this journey continues to go on, and you're not seeing the changes that you really want. So if you've been inspired by I guess what's possible, and your hope is restored in terms of just you know Serena's story might be very similar, if not the same as yours, and you know you're just inspired by the success that she's had and want it for yourself, please get in touch. I'd love to have a breakthrough call with you where we can spend about um, you know 15 minutes or so just connecting and then organizing for another chat where we can just allow you to break through any struggles and stuff that's going on. I can pick apart what you're doing and share